Hi, I'm Kai and today we want to talk about project options in ePlan. If you have a standard product with just a few options when you sell it, for example you have some special lights or maybe you add a belt conveyor or you have other functions which are option in your project, or you have maybe a low voltage distribution with an income measurement or sometimes without income measurement, project options is the right function for you. Please note, project options is a separate license in ePlan. If you don't find the functions I will show you later in this video on your user interface in ePlan, please contact your local sales rep and ask for this license. Christmas is already around the corner, so I think a wish is always welcome at ePlan. And now have a look on project options. So we will do some examples here. First of all, we want to have this income measurement as an option. That means we mark everything here and go to create section. We can also open the, the project options navigator, click new and find here the sections. So in the next step, we need to give the project options group a name. I call it incoming. Then the project option is the incoming measurement. And the name is the measurement device. So I click OK. And now you have your options here in the project options navigator. You see here is a small corner where you can see a red green checkbox when I toggle it. So I make right one. So you can see that we have forgotten here some connections to the bus bar. So we mark these two connections here and make right click, assign object to the section. Then you get a question, do you want to remove the unselected options from the section? We say no, because we want to keep everything and add only these two connection points here. And when we toggle now, it works. In addition to that, we have here page number two, the pilot lamps. And this pilot lamps also should be just shown when we have an income measurement. So that means we mark this and also create a section and we keep it under project options group. And the project option is also incoming measurement. And we add here the name pilot lamps. So we click OK and now it's under the incoming measurement and that means when we toggle the income measurement the page is gone and we have on page 1 only the incoming without the measurement. When we toggle again we have the income measurement and also the pilot lamps. Yeah, What some people ask for is if it also works for the layout space. That means we go to the layout space and mark here the device. We go here to sign objects, say no. And now have a look when we toggle it, it's gone. And when we add it, it's there. What we also can do is if you have a complete function, for example here the equal GL1 should be an op option, then we mark it and create section. And then maybe it makes sense to have a new group. And you can see now that we have here GL1 and we can toggle the function and then GL1 is not available anymore. And GL1 is now there. So in the next step, we want to add another option here under incoming. And therefore I go to the insert sender and take this MCB here for the voltage measurement and add, add it here. I just keep it as it is. It's just to show what happened now. Now we mark everything again and create a new section. 
we place it under project options group incoming measurement with MCB and the name was MCB. Okay, and now you can see that you have under incoming another option. And when we toggle one of these options, the other one also will disappear. It's only possible to have one of these options available. This is what I want to show with that example here. So when we check here our menu, you can also find the placeholder object. So we go here to an example, for example, the Siemens Synamics S120. Here is some placeholder object. When you have a grouped device, you need to hold the shift on your keyboard to select this, make a right click and assign value set. You can select another value set. And also herefore we can use the options. That means we mark here everything and create a section. We make a new one. Click OK. And here you can now see that the placeholder objects are here. And when we toggle, you can also directly assign the value set in the project option navigator. So I hope that project options is now a little bit more clear for you. If you have further questions, please write it down in the comments. I recommend you this video. And if you find this video helpful, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.